Hey, Unique Color family. Y'all, we are so glad to see you guys today. It has been an amazing week this far. I hope you guys are doing fine and everybody is well. And um, I hope you guys are just, you know, meeting interesting people and, and doing some wonderful things. So, um, if anybody want to give me any kind of uh, birthday days and I can give you a... a, a a shout! Hey! Happy birthday from the Unique Coda family. We can do that for you and whatever. But uh, y'all see my family I got today. And that's Elijah. Say hey. Hey, Unique Colors. Shay. Hey, Unique Colors. And myself, moi. So y'all, we have today uh, some double chili cheeseburgers with some steakhouse fries. And we have some cheese dip. And um, we also have some... Um, Chili to go on top of the fries as well. So we are, we are excited to eat, right, you guys? Yeah. Yes. And we are just gonna be talking and chatting. So y'all, thanks for joining us. Let's get busy. Let's get busy on the food. We're gonna show you guys first of all what we have here. Okay. Me and Shay got double cheeseburgers. Yeah. Jay wanted a cheeseburger with um, ketchup, and mustard. So we have double cheeseburgers with chili cheese, tomato, onions, and all the works. So we are ready to eat, you guys. I'm going to first off show you this, y'all. Oh, and it's double. Du God, if I can pick it up, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Double cheeseburger, you guys. Look at that. That's that real good. The, thank you, baby. The presentation. <laughs> They're gonna be tasting good as they look. Double cheeseburger, yes, sir. Mmm. Okay, y'all. Y'all want y'all to see his cheeseburger. He has cheese, ketchup, and lemonade. Where's your plate? Here. Get you one up. Is that one or two? Get one up. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's Josh's plate. Shay has a double chase burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the works. She got lettuce, tomato, onion, and cheese and stuff too. Tomato. Steakhouse fries. Where's my other plate up? Um, I figured we just eat them in our own plate because we're gonna have chili and cheese on them and stuff. Oh, yeah. And you know, it just depends on how much you want to eat because I know you'll miss him. He will, but he won't. You know how that goes. I don't be wasting. I said you'll miss him, probably. Oh, okay. I didn't say nothing about you be wasting because I know you'll eat when you want to. <clears throat> we got some Velveeta cheese, y'all. Do it. Let me show you if you want some white cheese, just sprinkle it all in there. And y'all want some uh, chili on your fries? Try get some chili. Um, that's a little chili meat on your fries. Can I eat some? Yeah. You can? Yeah, I have some. Okay. Get some homemade chili. For the fries. For the fries. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that, y'all. Look at them chili cheese fry. Mmm, mmm. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, this is going to be a messy video, you guys. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, y'all ready to bite? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it, you guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Yeah. First spot color. That burger is succulent. Mm -hmm. mm. It's juicy. Mm hmm. Very. Oh. So, you guys, what's been going on with you? 
I've been watching YouTube. I've been seeing a lot of people doing a lot of up and coming things, you know. I'm going on trips and stuff like that. Just having fun. I'm not wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, we're getting a late start on uh, supper because we were um, making orange soda. I cook kind of late because we was out and about doing some stuff. Yeah. And so I was like, y'all, let's go ahead and make a video. Because I was just done, I just fixing some cheeseburgers and then we was like, well, you know what? We'll make a video. Ready to eat to y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put these burgers on my griddle. In house grill. Yeah. Them burgers is pretty thick. But it is what it is. It's good, I'm saying. Mm. You like it? Mm. I'm glad you're here, son. I think you need to be alert <laughs> at all times, mm -hmm. you know? Are you freaking out of, like, these changes? And... How do you feel about it? I feel like, I mean, it's out there, you know? Mm -hmm. I just don't talk about it, though. You know, mental awareness, you guys, has been something that has been kept hushed for so long. From the families of, you know, from back in the day, this generated from years of years of slavery and and um, the type of, um, you know, harshness, if you would say, it may not be quite harshness, but I guess it could be some type of captivity mentally that blacks were getting back then and they were so used to so as the generation you know moved along and everything and things got better they also became used to things you know what i'm saying like oh you know i'm just used to it you know this happened so long ago and i don't see the generation changing I don't see um, people changing, so they're just used to certain situations. And so, I think that kind of made strong people more weak mentally. And I say this to say this. I say that to say this. Just because you are a... Uh, individual that uh you know uh like to debate every discussion or like to um always be proven you know you know you right and somebody else wrong uh it doesn't always mean that uh 
those individuals, because they like to debate, are mentally strong. So, I just think that you want to be aware of um, people with generational mental illness as well, along with society mental illness, you know, because you don't have to have a mental illness like depression or or over anxiety or schizophrenia or anything like that to be mental, to have a mental illness, to, to have a mental illness. You can have a mental illness with society, you know, being a person that is not able to be around a lot of people mentally. It stresses you out. It's too hard. It's too physical. All those things are society brought in, you know. When you at the place, when you are when you are at certain places that you are comfortable with, relatives, family of any sort, close friends, you're yourself, you're most comfortable. You can be vulnerable. You can let go, and you can be free in your mind. See, that is just what um, that mental uh, disability from society tells you. You know, it's always peer pressure right here. You got to be, I bet you're not enough. yeah, you got to be in top shape to deal with us or you got to, you know, or you got to uh, be able to take it and, and, and pull up your bootstraps and, and all of that is pressure from society that can cause mental anxieties and depressions and worries and stresses. So things that you wasn't even born with or didn't, or didn't even come, you know, come through the family line are things that are actually brought on to society. And you have to be able to know yourself enough to know and to love yourself enough to know that certain, you know, pressures of things ain't even worth you making yourself mentally tired, emotionally distressed and detached. All of that, you know? So, you know, that's just a little something I think about mental awareness. I know, yeah. uh, a lot of people talk about it, but a lot of people are hush hush about it. So you know. yeah, I'm about finished. Mm -hmm. That burger has been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. The fries are good and cheesy. Mm -hmm. Everything got an excellent taste. Mm -hmm. Creamy, cheesy velveeta. A lot of people use it in the macaroni and cheese. I like the velveeta taste, but if I do use it in my macaroni and cheese, I don't like too much of it because I don't. I don't know if it's box, you know, like the store brought kind. Mm -hmm. But the kind that you make from scratch, I don't too much care for it in my macaroni and cheese. Maybe a spoonful or something, but you know. What y'all cooking tomorrow for Sunday? What's on the menu, colors? What is on the menu, you guys? What y'all in the mood for? <laughs> mm. Some sweet yams. Put cinnamon on top. Mm. What about you, Jack? I'm in the mood for that. <laughs> no how the protein or nothing? <laughs> Is that gonna fill y'all up by itself? Y'all crazy. Mm. Colors, I love, love, love having you guys tune in with me and joining me on my eating channel and stuff. I really, really do. I'm so glad that you guys find a special time to come in and join with us. Even if we're just eating and chatting, eating a sandwich or whatever. Delicious double burger. Well, no matter what we're eating, I love to have y'all. I do. I love to make videos for y'all. <clears throat> mm. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> she about to bust out britches, y'all. And I'm telling you, that girl, she can't eat a double tea burger real quick. Not double tea, the double quarter burger. Double pound. Mm -hmm. And she used to all them things about her. I ain't gonna cuss, but, yeah. <laughs> but you know what, though? And I 
don't know how in the world she stomped that stuff down. I eat double cheeseburgers from time to time, but, you know, these patties are pretty thick. I got the kind in the grocery um, freezer that's already made up, and I just threw a little salad on it, and, um, you know, put it on my griddle, and let it fry, baby, fry. Put my um I was gonna get some steakhouse potatoes but we didn't see any when we went so we got the um potato wedges and we made the um ground chili meat hamburger meat with the um chili over the potatoes I made them from some of the patties that I used to cook this with you know how it come with like 12 patties in the pack I just took a couple of them and crumbled it up and made some hamburger meat and made my chili with that. Instead of, you know, having separate packs of this and then up. Anyway, you guys, we have enjoyed y'all. Ain't we, y'all? Yeah. Have y'all really? Yeah. Y'all ain't saying it loud enough. Say, so we have enjoyed you, Cuddle Family. We have enjoyed you, Cuddle Family. Y'all, mm -hmm. until next time, to the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, Thumbs share, up. and subscribe. Bye. Please subscribe, y'all. Please, 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 please. Okay, we love you. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>